Hi guys and welcome to this video. It's going to show you um, the updates for Share Factory uh, version 1.03 brought to you within the PlayStation uh, firmware update 1.70. Uh, first of all, here we go, you've got a new horror theme. Now these match the things like the football theme and the shooter theme, um, but also I've noticed in the last day or two um, they've added an Evil Within theme. Occasionally um, the game um, the game developers they will release a, a theme for this. It doesn't come with a version, but they will just be updated. And have a look at some of the the intro clips here. And here's one of the outro. These are the things that you can add to your video at the beginning and the end. Um, but we're going to go back and concentrate on the horror theme uh, because game specific intros and outros. Obviously, you want to really be running within uh, the game that you're actually playing. So here's the the horror intro that you get. It's a stock horror. Now there are loads of horror games out there, so I'm sure you can um, imagine the kind of game that you would need to use this for something like Outlast but what one of the uh, the new things I really want to draw your attention to is this uh, new buy selected screen um, it's reasonably useful I have to say it's not the most amazing thing they've done but what it allows you to do basically you've, you've obviously got loads of video clips and you might have been bashing away at the share button while you're in the middle of a game and you've got a lot to select from so what you can do is you can um, you can select a whole bunch of clips We'll take a few of these short clips and now you can actually go to buy selected and what it will do, uh, it will sort those and it will reorder them, reorder the uh, the thumbnails on your screen so you can only see those ones that you have just picked up. Now that gives you a bit of flexibility in that, okay, you wanted to see these clips, you might not necessarily know which order yet, you have to think about that a little more and it gives you a chance to deselect and reselect just to put them in the right order. P reasonably useful. Um, most of the time you've only really got one or two clips that you want to merge together however if you're doing a um, if you're doing a montage I think you'll find this feature very very useful so uh, I would have a look at that um, but bear in mind sometimes you can have literally thousands of clips you can see the sidebar on my screen I've got uh, probably hundreds by now um, and I want to add another one now one of the the new features uh, another new feature great little feature this is if you've added uh, a clip that will exceed the maximum the maximum 20 minutes time for any project what it will do um, it will trim that clip automatically for you just down to 10 seconds now I'll show you in a minute what that actually means but it will allow you to still import the clip to your project but it will allow you to edit the length of the previous clips so that you can fit that one they've shortened for you um, to a much longer uh, longer clip length so here we've got this this that last one now that's that was actually um, 15 minutes long that clip but they shortened it down to 10 seconds just so I've got the ability to play with it now if you look at this um, particular section um, it's 10 seconds I know um, but the only way you're going to be able to actually use something perhaps that was in the mid uh, in the middle of that original clip um, is by say expanding it but if you try and expand it and it exceeds that 20 minutes just as I've shown you there it says no you've got to get that down to a shorter length so let's just readjust that because um, I want to show you um, the previous clip now now let's change the, the the length of that with the trim clip function and here we go so you have to shorten that one right down um, certainly taking uh, taking it to a much shorter length remember this always remembers uh, the the, the actual full length of the clip you can trim and edit um, a, f a full section as much as you want um, and now I can go back to the second clip which again as I said was originally 50 minutes long and now I can expand that as much as I like and you can see at the bottom right there the actual full time of that clip that you're expanding uh, and it gives you a little more room to breathe you can now edit um, sections of that clip cut bits out trim it delete sections as you like um, but the, the best part about this feature is really that it gives you a bit more flexibility um, you've, there are certain clips that you want and uh, you might not necessarily know as you start exactly which parts so as you trim off parts from the first clip you can add to the second so let's get rid of all of that and we're going to show you some of the, uh, the other new features that they've added in this release version 1.03 so uh, let's get on with just a small clip that we can play with just to show you some of the extra effects they've added um, first of all um, what they have done 
is they've added a, a new filter, a filter that wasn't on the previous versions. It's called saturation. Now I'm sure you guys that have used other video editing software are very familiar with what saturation does. Um, but for those that aren't, and this is your only editing software that you're going to use, what that has the ability to do is brighten and uh, brighten and enhance colors within the screen. So what I'm, what I'm doing here is just splitting the clip so I can show you a section which pretty much trans transgresses without the screen changing too much. I'm not moving around a lot, um, but it will show you what you can do when you apply this filter and the differences between uh, the, the original and the saturation effect as you add it. So let's go into Edit FX and let's find our brand new uh, filter on the left hand side. Um, drop down and we've got the original ones black and white but here we go this one is brand new saturate so let's have a good look at that and once you apply it I don't know if you noticed that um, but it slightly enhanced the colors so as I've just replayed through that section where I split the clip in half I just want you to if you could just pay attention you could see a slight enhancement in the colors there now a lot of people say that's a good thing to do to a video because it just it makes it a little more watchable a little easier on the eye um, to what degree you saturate of course um, is one of the other features that they've added now this is kinda cool um, they've added this new uh, option here filter settings now you weren't able to do anything like this before um, but what you can do is you can enhance the intensity of the the filter you've applied so you can apply it fully uh, all the way up to uh, one which is kind of like think of it like 100 percent or you can drop it down to uh, to zero but the going all the way down to uh, zero really pretty much makes it black and white saturation is about color hue it's about the color um, enhancement of course if you remove any color enhancement you remove all color so as you see i've pushed it all the way up to the hundred there and you can see a much more uh, significant difference in the uh, the saturation effect now it is good for videos to make it more eye-catching so I'd recommend that you play around with that um, even if it, you just apply it to the whole of your video um, it is going to be worth your while so okay on to the the next little section here so there are two other filters that they've also added this intensity selection to um, they are the posterize and the sepia filters you can pretty much do what I've just explained with saturate um, to the posterize. Now, posterize is a bit of a funny one. I'm not sure whether you'd want to exactly show an entire clip with the posterize filter on, um, but I don't know, it all depends on what it is you're trying to do. Um, if you're recording gameplay, um, you might want to make it look a bit more borderlands. It can be quite a nice effect to put onto a short clip or even a screenshot, anything that you like, and you can play with the amount. Uh, as I'm showing you here of the intensity of that just to give you an idea it's quite a cool way of making a thumbnail for a video um, and that is on one of my previous uh, videos uh, Share Factory Lesson 7 um, if you have a look at back that uh, back there on my channel um, you'll be able to see exactly how to make a pretty cool thumbnail with with lettering uh, and we'll come back to a thumbnail enhancement they've made in a moment um, now here you go they've got the uh, sepia filter now um, which you can also edit the intensity of uh, let's go and have a quick look at that it does do a couple of weird things now the the sepia is pretty much for me removing um, one particular color uh, as you can see if you completely drop that down to zero percent you can make this the whole video look uh, almost entirely yellow and um, if you push it all the way to the right you can make it look like a very dark red so you're taking pretty much the blue uh, or the green it depends on 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 the filter type you're taking pretty much blues and greens out of everything and you're left um, with a sort of a, a yellow and a red effect um, which is what really combines to make that sort of sepia color um, guys correct me if I'm wrong I'm not exactly a, an expert in this but it seems to me like there is no uh, blue or green colors in here but um, play around with it it might suit something that you want to do again remember guys you don't just apply this to clips you can think of screenshots you can think of thumbnails that you want to make for your videos um, you can't apply however more than one uh, FX to uh, a single clip I was hoping to be able to combine posterize with maybe sepia here um, but it doesn't seem to to allow you to do that you pretty much replace if you try to add another effect to it so next one this little uh, addition here is quite cool um, 
reasonably useful, but you'll see why it's not that useful in a moment. Generate thumbnail. Now, you guys are making videos for YouTube, no doubt, um, or something like that. Now, as you see, you've now got, when you go to the options button, uh, where you'd normally save the project or you'd normally render the video, you've got this option to create a thumbnail. Now, what does that do? It pretty much shows you right here that when you're viewing your project, you now have uh, an individual thumbnail for the video and the project that you've just made. Um, it's very, very useful because most of the time, all you can see is the theme that you've picked as a thumbnail, as, as you can see on my screen. Now, I've just created this thumbnail for this particular project, and now I can see exactly what it was I was doing. Um, it's going to be useful, especially if you put a title screen. Um, you can create the thumbnail from your title screen, and you can see that. Now, here at the end, they've added a little something um, just to show you. You can now see they've added uh, an extra little uh, outro clip. Um, it's a share factory outro clip at the end, and it will automatically be added to all of your projects. Um, you don't have to use it like you've seen in other videos I've done. You can just delete any clip you want. That includes all the outros, intros, or, or, or any effects that they've done in between. And the next thing that they have improved is the volume mixing levels. Now, I have to say, this is probably one of the most useful things they've added. Um, this applies to your music, your commentary, or the game clip itself. You can now adjust um, the settings from what we used to be up to 100%, um, all the way up to 200, and of course, all the way back down to, uh, to zero as before. But I find this uh, extremely useful while I'm making these videos. Okay, next up, things that you can't see, um, that I can pretty much just talk about. Um, but that you can't see, um, that I can't display to you in this video, so I'm just going to talk about those. Your clip sounds now can be heard while you're recording commentary. Now, I couldn't find this for my headset before, um, and now I can hear everything while I am uh, recording my voice. The high quality mic support has been added, and uh, audio playback quality has been improved. So, if you have a decent headset like Turtle Beaches, the, uh, the voice recording will be much better, uh, but also when you uh, play back your videos on YouTube, sound will be much more rich. I uh, hope you enjoyed this guys. Uh, thanks a lot. Good night.